Seems as though he might be dead. You should investigate the body. Well, I go get myself a latte from Starbucks. Wait, wait, sir, sir, wait. wait. What do you got, Corner? Here's the victim. It's horrible taste in music, sir. It could be a clue. Okay. What? What is this? Wait, shh, wait, give me. So it appears me and the victim <laughs> use the same shampoo. So we what does that have... mean? What does that mean? So we both have equal shot and bounce. Bring him into the lab. Oh. I can see his boxer, sir. It appears as though he's dead, sir. Yeah. What have you found out about him? Well, we both have the same shampoo, therefore we both have equal shine and bounce. And it's very he, interesting. And he ha doesn't have very good taste in music, sir. Mm. Where are all our white blankets? I'm not sure. I just got the red one. And I... who is this? That's my little brother, sir. He's very... Get him out of here! <laughs> Alright, sir. What are you doing? Problem solved, sir. <laughs> sir, we must perform an autopsy. Oh my god, what is this? This is... We're playing Operation Shrek Edition, sir. Well, why? Shouldn't we be investigating the body? Oh. I'm having a lot of fun, sir. Oh, your turn. Uh... The onion doesn't go... Ah! There. Well, where's the body? I gotta... what is... Should we start with the autopsy now? He's not dead, sir. What are you wearing? A Darth Vader mask. Well, take so, it off. I enjoy wearing it, sir. All right, so you're saying he's not dead? That's what I'm saying, sir. Wait, 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 wait. Sir, sir. He I'm is now. Sir. He's dead. You must interrogate him, sir. Brought him. We know you did it, Brad. Did what? You know what we're talking about. No, I don't. I have no Brad, idea. Brad, do you like the band Rascal Flats? Excuse me? Do you like the no. band Rascal Flats? No. Brad, did you do it? No. Ah! Oh! Brad, did you no. do it? No! Did you no. do it? Did you do it? No! Alright, we can do this the easy way. Or the Rascal Flats related way. I didn't do anything. You are not cracking. We know you do did. Do you like a Rascal Flats? No. Ah. Ah. No. We know you did. It. I didn't. We know you did it. Listen to the vocals. Listen to the vocals. Brad is life a highway. Is life a highway? No. It isn't? No. Are you sure about that? I think Rascal Flats disagrees <laughs> with your accusation of life not being a that way. You know you did. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? What do you have to say? Did you do it? It's my candy. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Ah, no. <laughs> ah, stop it. Gotta go get a donut. <laughs> well, hey, Officer Drew. Hey. <laughs> you know what I'm doing? What are you doing, I, Jonathan? I'm putting this miserable jerk in prison. Prison? Prison. Uh, say, in these days of the no. Victorian era, what are the alternatives to prison? Well, Drew, the alternatives to prison are being sent to Australia, being put in the stocks, 
being fined or being executed. You don't say! Yeah. Fascinating. Yep, that's alternative to prison. Say, hey, I never heard of prison before. Tell me more about that history. Okay, yeah. criminal. All right. Well, you see, today at the start of the Victorian era, we're starting to make a lot more prisons and making current break prisons bigger. Because you see, prisons are a lot different right now than they will be in the future, hypothetically. Because you see, they put everyone in the same prison. You can have a serial killer and a guy with debt in the same cell. And that sounds like an interesting situation. Excuse me for a second. Yes. Shut up! Wow, I'm so glad I learned so many new things about Victorian prisons. I am too. Well, there's only one thing we can do now. Let's be on our way. What is love?